Taking a live look outside, we're at 13 minutes after the noon hour now. That heavy rain, strong winds have moved out of the area. Boy, look at how high the lake levels are right now, washing up onto the beach and yeah. still not getting a lot of that sunshine, Brian, that we're seeing in other parts of the viewing area already. Yeah, there's some reports uh, Bradford Beach and North Beach in rough shape after this uh, last mm. storm here. Uh, some erosion going on there and a lot of the beach, beach washed up, but uh, Lakes Shore Flood Advisory guys uh, until one o'clock. We'll see if there's an extension on that, but as of right now, one o'clock it will be canceled. Uh, we've seen waves eight to 12 feet, 40 mile per hour winds, localized flooding and beach erosion again. With the already high water levels, you start to get the winds cranking up out of the northeast and you get waves 8 to 12 feet. That brings in even higher water and uh, yeah, that's not a good recipe with these strong areas of low pressure. Uh, here are the recent wind gusts across the area, 30 to 40 miles per hour. Hey, we, we just sent a gust up. Not too long ago at 45 miles per hour in Racine. Uh, Storm 4 Max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, again, the rain has moved out. Wanted to show you this. This is the GOES 16 satellite, visible satellite imagery. And look at this closed off low pressure system here. Spin into the east of us. No, that's not a land hurricane, but. Uh, Kind of looks like a tropical cyclone, right? You got the area of low pressure cut off from the low clouds spinning around it. The back edge of the clouds just about to clear through southeastern Wisconsin. Let's zoom back in here on the storm four max radar and what you're going to see is what's left of the rain shower. The back edge of the rain starting to taper off. We are now dry here in Milwaukee. Maybe a couple sprinkles to go across our southern spots. Future forecast as we head through the afternoon, we're looking at a decrease in cloud cover. I think becoming at least partly cloudy. Now some computer models like this one clear us out completely with bright blue sunshine. I think there still will be some scattered clouds overhead. The winds get lighter overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We're looking at bright sunny skies for your Friday. Mostly sunny skies expected. Clouds will increase Friday evening and there is a chance we get a very light shower or sprinkle starting Friday night and into early Saturday morning. But notice how that kind of fizzles out and most of your day on Saturday is looking great. This is a live look in Port Washington where we still have some cloud cover 46 degrees. Hey, Milwaukee or in West Bend, excuse me, uh, you can see the clearing uh, to the north here and that line of clearing should push through southeastern Wisconsin. All right, let's take a look at your weather headlines. Still breezy, clearing out though and nicer end of the week. Your forecast for today. 57 degrees for your high, becoming partly cloudy and breezy for tonight. A low temperature of 41, mainly clear skies again, losing that blanket in the sky. It's going to get pretty cool again tonight for Friday. 58 degrees for your high temperature. A chance of that stray sprinkle or shower Friday night inland on Friday will be in the 60s. Everybody's in the 60s on Saturday, 68 degrees on Saturday, a slight chance of a shower on Sunday, very small chance. I'm thinking most of us stay dry through the entire weekend. 66 on Sunday, cooling down on Monday to 50 and then some rain showers on Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the 40s. Maybe Wednesday morning we get some wet snowflakes to mix in. Should I not mention that? Leave yeah, that out no. for now. Don't you think so?